Okay, so this is part uh, four of our video series as we try to get through the entire uh, review exam. So again, this is uh, an online catalog company wants online delivery for at least 90% of its orders. That at least is going to be really important. They have been shipping via UPS and FedEx, but they're switched to a more expensive service if there is evidence that it can exceed. So this is a big difference between our uh, last one. So here, our null hypothesis is that we're at at least 0.9 but we're gonna pay more if the alternative hypothesis pans out and we can be greater than 0.9% uh, of the time. So as you look, the null hypothesis here is met, that's okay, but the not equal to allows for less, that's not good. Here the null hypothesis is not good, it shows a change. Here the null hypothesis is good. Here the alternative hypothesis is good, and so I'm thinking that it's going to be C. Uh, here the null hypothesis is bad, <clears throat> here the null hypothesis is good, but the direction is wrong, so it's not going to be E. So C is going to be our best option here. Okay, so now as we look at 15, a researcher investigating whether joggers are less likely to get colds than people who do not jog found a p-value of 3. Alright, so the idea here, oh, here's my normal model, right? Here's where my P of joggers is, um, or maybe not joggers, right? And here's my joggers over here, and here's my 3% in the tail. So there isn't a 3% chance that joggers will get fewer colds. It's about distance away, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's, so none of these, okay, if I put an X through all of them, joggers get 3% fewer colds. Well, there is a comparison there, but it's it's a chance. It's not an actual number. 3% of joggers get colds. Well, that's an odds, but it's not compared to the non-joggers. And there's a 3% chance that joggers don't get fewer colds. Uh, no, again, we're not, we're not comparing it to... I guess we are doing a comparison, um, but don't. <clears throat> it's supposed to be less likely, all right? So this one's not good. So the idea here is that it's B, and the reason that it's B is because I need to be comparing that joggers uh, have a 3% chance of getting, 3% uh, yeah, chance of getting an observed difference in getting colds than non-joggers. So there has to be, again, some sort of comparison that they're not making here, okay? <clears throat> 416. To plan the budget for the next year, a college needs to estimate what impact the current economic downturn might have on student requests for financial aid. Historically, this college has provided aid to 35% of its students. I'm guessing that this is going to be my P, is my 35% right here. Officials look at a random sample of this year's applications to see what proportion indicate a need for financial aid. Based on these data, they create a 90% confidence interval. All right, so we create a 90% confidence interval, and our P should be somewhere in here. <clears throat> and the interval is from 32 to 40. Could this interval be used to test the hypothesis P naught of 0.35 versus a P naught of not 0.35 at the alpha 0 0.0 level of significance? And the answer is yes, okay? Because remember, I told you 90% is associated with an alpha of 0 0.10, so that condition is met. And the 35%, oh, whoa, the 35 is in this interval, which is what we would totally expect. So yes, since 35% is in the confidence interval, they failed to reject the null hypothesis, concluding that there is strong evidence not strong evidence of any change. And so B is going to be the correct answer here. Okay? Uh, so we're not going to, we're going to throw out the nose. Um, since 35% is not at the center, they reject the null hypothesis. No, 35% doesn't have to be at the center, it just has to be in it. And yes, since 35% is in the confidence interval, they will accept the null hypothesis. Oh, except. Except is bad. We don't accept. We just 
fail to reject. Remember, that's the verbiage that we use here. So we have B. All right. Um, I'm going to stop here, and uh, we're going to do part five, starting with question 17.